Page 18, Sonatina in G major. That's in G major, one sharp. Okay, we got that covered. All the ups are sharp. Good, good. Common time or 4-4 four, four time. Lots of eighth notes. Let's talk about this one hand at a time. Make sure we got the fingering and all that worked out. You have a pickup beat. We're coming in on beat 4. So it's 4 and 1. You're starting here. 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and I'll come back to that little note a little later. Just leave it out right now. So it's one and two and, and I'm, I connect everything at first. I don't do any phrasing, just connect everything. Now measure six, one and two and three and. So that eighth, the first eighth note is on three, that's the G that's tied. So then it comes on the end of three and four and. Cross over third finger on the F sharp. And then go on. You, now you're in this position, but that's okay. We can. Just lots of eighth notes. Just work them out. Thumb comes under. It's like a D major scale. And then measure 12 on the quarter note, and then lift up and come down. Measure 16, scrunch up a little bit, and the thumb on the on the A, and now we got a bunch of C sharps. And this is good practice for these fingers. I like this. And then when it ends on measure 19, you see the last two C's are natural. And then you're back to what you were. Now they're saying five for measure 20. You can do four if you'd like. You're in that position. You can do a four, two, one, and then five. That, that's fine too. You, or you can do five. But I just here, here. That's a little awkward. I mean, you have to do it sometimes. You just four, two is fine. Then I'll measure twenty-three again. Leave out that little note for a bit. It's just play. Last line, now uh, you're fine on this. Left hand, Alberti bass, just a G chord, and then 5 7 chord, 5 7 chord, and so forth. Let's go down to measures 5. You're starting out here, then you got to reach down an octave, and then come, the thumb comes down. So they're showing fourth finger for the first one. That's why, because the idea is you're getting ready to do that. You don't need to have four finger. You've done all the others this way. You can do that that way also. The point is though, you've got to come down to here. Well, once you lift this up, you got time to reach down. So whether you use fourth or fifth finger on that first note in that measure, I don't care. It's just... And then we can do four for measure six, because we just were in this position, sort of. Put the hands together here, and again I'm playing everything connected at first. Make sure you lift up that half note when you play B3. And play these rests in the left hand. Measure 12, that's a half note, it's not a rest, so hang it down. Just reach down into here. Now we're back to the rest. But again, we have a rest in the left hand. When you play the B, lift up.
you get that worked out, then we can go back and add the articulation and these little great these little notes or pause tours. This is what the, it's, it's, the left hand I'm suggesting for the most part you connect the left hand. For the most part. You got slurs in the right hand. Lift up. It's like a breath. Just lift up. In the right hand, keep the left hand legato. It's connected. This little note, it is is played on the beat. It's like two sixteenth notes together. So, so there's three notes together. Two sixteenth notes goes into the eighth note. One e and a one e and one e and one e and and the same thing on the next page when you get it. It's like two sixteenth notes and it's on the beat. It's not played. No, that's way out of character for this. Don't play it that way. Play it this way. Now here, lift up here. So it's it. But you're holding this down as you do that. So it's. these slurs here. I don't know that I agree with them, but they put them in, so okay. So you're not slurring on the beat. You're slurring on the upbeat. And this is very common in back in the 1700s, I and mean, they did this a lot. My problem with it is that you're not doing it anywhere else. Why do it here? See, it's just, in my opinion, you could probably connect all this together. they do connect it all together. So why not connect it all together the first time? Well, because when you play in the same kind of passage like this, it's nice to play it different, not play it the same each time. So I sound like I just contradicted myself there because I'm saying just connect it up for major nine and I'll just connect it. And then over here on, on major 13 and they do connect it. So and then I'm saying we'll play it different. And the idea is yeah I can play it different but it's not a requirement. It's nice to play it different and we can find other things to change besides the slurring. My problem with the slurring they're doing here is that they're doing it on the upbeat and they're not doing it anywhere else to speak of on the upbeat so why are they doing it here? It's like it's just out of place. Generally the slurring or the phrasing is going to be con consistent throughout however it's done. So if you start with an upbeat you're going to keep an upbeat so at measure nine, these slurs are a little bit off. So, like so. So make careful on that. So you're holding that left hand quarter note down as you're doing that. Opinion on major 11. You could connect all those together as far as I'm concerned. Now we're going to lift up. Now, hey, now we're going to connect. And you can disconnect the left hand here because they're so far apart. that D real short. It's not, no, it's just disconnected. And we, we want it to feel, go up to here, go up to here. And then you're lifting up there on measure 19. Something like so. And then once you get the idea, I have to go that fast. I tend to speed it up because I want, don't want the video to last forever. But you go your speed, and work it out however you need to, and get rid of all the glitches and the hesitations and all that junk. And we can add the dynamics. And that's for the right hand. The left hand needs to be background. It's supporting. Moderately loud, whatever you think that is. Sort of loud. 
not loud, just sort of loud. The left hand needs to be soft. And then uh, you get to measure four, you're going to go up to loud. Not a lot of difference between sort of loud and loud, just a little bit. So don't get loud until measure five. You know, I kind of don't even crescendo until the last couple of beats there. So it's right th the, the, that's where I crescendo. hand soft and then you're going to go down to soft uh, on the third line here you're soft actually that G right before it you could be soft there too it stays soft the left hand's very soft come up to moderately soft and then go back down to soft Take your time going down to soft. We don't want to be soft until the third beat there. So starting again on 12, I'm moderately soft. Go down. Go up to about a moderately soft to moderately loud in here. Get softer. And then there's a roll on tondo there. You're gonna slow down a little bit. Get loud back up because on measure 18 you're moderately soft going down to soft. So in measure 19 you're starting soft and you're going to go up to loud. Moderately and you're going to slow down. So starting measure 18 again. They don't give you an off tempo anywhere and that's I think an error. Because when you're going to slow down a little bit, then technically you'd stay there. But I think when you when, when the melody comes back, you should be back up to speed. There should be an off tempo there, so it's at the speed. And you're loud. Come down a little bit to moderately loud. Sort of loud here. And you're going to go down to soft. There are different ways of interpreting this. Get to know it. It's kind of a fun piece to play, just for the fingers. So we get to know the music and start feeling the music. And these dynamics need to be felt. We're kind of forcing them right now, and that's unfortunate because you need to get to where you can feel them. Then speed-wise, Allegro's fast. Well, that's the overall flow of the piece. So these eighth notes. How fast can you play these accurate? Or these runs at the bottom of page 18? fast can you play those accurately and evenly? That'll tell you how fast you can take it. So there'll be different speeds for different people. to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do any dynamics. So I'll give us, give us three counts because we come in on B4. Let's just try it together very slowly. One and ready and go and. <laughs> 